guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Lauren Kanemoto and this is DIY with Lauren K. We are completely finished taking off the carpet, the underlayment. All right, so this is what we're gonna do. We're gonna grab our knife, okay? And you're gonna decide how big or how small of rows you're gonna make in the big room, the master bedroom, I made four cuts. So I did one there, there, and there, and then remove. This is closet. Uh, this is much smaller. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm just going to cut it in half and then roll it up. Let's do it. First things first. You're going to grab this. Put your mask on. Or not, my mask just broke. Whatever. Put some gloves on. Get the corner. Pull it up. Like so. Okay. I'm just gonna keep pulling it. You know what? I don't even think I'm gonna cut it. I think I'm just gonna rip it all out. Hell yeah, buddy. All right, so yeah, I'm gonna just do that. So I'm just gonna pull it everywhere and make it come loose. So I'm gonna pull it here at this corner, make it come loose. loosened, lifted, lift it, get this corner, dang, lift it, okay, watch out. you see all that powder, that's what you gotta be careful for, also be careful for um, spiders, they like to hide underneath carpet for some reason, Yeah, they're weird. Okay. Now. Oh my God. Now we're just gonna roll it up. Okay, here's another tip. Wear long sleeves. I'm super itchy and getting bumps now because I didn't wear long sleeves and when you're lifting up this stuff there's a lot of dust and it's super super itchy you guys so please don't be like me just put on some long sleeves now that we got that done i guess for the sake of it you could have cut it in half it would have been a little bit smaller because it got a little bit crazy but i just figured i'll just pull it all out pull it pull it all up and get it out of here next thing that we're gonna do is we're just gonna tear out the underlayment I can feel all the glue. Nasty. All right, so again, what you wanna do is get the corner. So pull it. <laughs> so hard with one hand. And just pull it. You're gonna loosen it. Oh, that's kind of dangerous. And then you're just gonna Loosing it all up. Close the door. Okay, 
that's done. Now we're just gonna pull this. Throw it there. Put it in the trash. And that's about it. This one really has a lot of glue on it. Stubborn. Okay. Let me grab this. For when it's stuck like that, you're just gonna grab it like that. Okay. So we're gonna go through the lines where the glue is, and we're just gonna clean it up. Right here, you're gonna go underneath and push like that. Okay, lift up. Oh my god. Now I'm going to go on this side, attempt the same. Now that we've removed this part right here, we just need to remove the rest of them. And I have to say this, this is the part that takes up the most time and is the most tedious out of everything. But yeah, just keep going around the room. It is so much easier, personally, to use one of these flathead screwdrivers to get up underneath there, hammer it from the back, even just lift it up, and um, yeah, take these out. And be careful when removing these. Make sure you wear your glasses because of the wood, and also when I removed this, the nail literally flew and landed on my head. So, just be careful. And wear some good shoes. We are completely finished taking out the carpet, the underlayment, and the wooden things with nails, whatever those damn things are called. I am exhausted. Alright guys, thank you for watching today's video and I will see you in the next one.